we define momentum and the linear here as opposed to rotational or angular momentum that we'll talk about later on is defined as the product of mass and velocity the momentum of any object moving at a velocity v would be the mass of the object m times its velocity v now we use the symbol p for momentum and we put the arrow to remind us that the, the direction is important momentum is a vector quantity so the direction of a momentum is key is is quite important and we'll see the implications of that later on now that's the definition of momentum mass times velocity now why do we need momentum for example let's compare these two cases we have this bicyclist this truck both of them are moving at the same velocity v. now however if one of us is, is going to try to stand to stop either one of them all of us will choose to try to stop the bicyclist we'll try to stop the bicyclist even though the bicyclist has the same velocity as the truck the key here is the bicyclist has less momentum than the truck and that's why it will be easier to try to stop the bicyclist so in other words when we speak of an object motion just in terms of velocity it's not going to give us sufficient information sufficient information in terms of how easy is it going to be to change its state of motion momentum though would tell us something with a large momentum would be more difficult to change its state of motion than something with a small momentum okay now uh, there is the other thing you know this does not say that the velocity is not important for example if we take these two cases and this is somewhat cheating uh, this is the same bullet but i have it here on the side but if we assume this bullet is at rest this is fast photography so this one is moving quite a bit so look at the effect that it had on that poor apple if we were to stand in front of both bullets we will choose to stand in front of the bullet that's at rest we can hold it in our hand as well there will be no problem with that however standing in front of the moving bullet is going to be dangerous for us now velocity is going to play a factor but how is it playing a factor is part of the momentum as well m times velocity so so it's key in both cases now that's the definition for momentum but one of the important things about momentum is we can apply it to cases when we have more than one object moving when we have like a bunch of objects we'll take the example here of this billiard table okay now i'll run it in one second we have the white ball is going to be moving towards the other balls if we think of all of them together their overall momentum is going to be the momentum of the white ball plus the momentum of each one of these balls so the overall momentum is going to be the momentum the sum remember the symbol is some symbol the sum of all the individual momenta okay the plural of momentum is momenta so we just add them up but we have to be careful when we add them up to account for the direction okay let's go back here and run the video nobody it does not want to run okay it did run okay see it so what i'm saying the momentum of the white ball and the, all the other balls can be obtained as the overall momentum now when i have all the balls moving their overall momentum is as well the sum of all the individual momenta and the ball moving this way has a different momentum than a ball moving this way even 
if the mass times the speed is the same for both of them, even if they are moving with, uh, with the same speed, they are going to have different momenta because they have different directions. 